This week on Veteran Outdoors, our mission is to pick up Master Sergeant Dan Robles in San Antonio and fly him to an amazing ranch in West Texas. Dan is an 18-year veteran of the United States Army who lost both his legs fighting in Iraq. We've told Dan that he's going to be hunting for a white-tailed doe, but we've actually got something a little bit bigger in mind. My name is Wes Higgins. I'm a veteran of the United States Army. I have served in Kosovo, Macedonia, Kuwait, and Iraq. I have experienced being in the outdoors all over the United States. With the help of civilian Cody Hurt, we feel it is our duty to share those same adventures and give back to those who gave. We're down here in San Antonio, Texas today. We're outside of Dan Robles' house. We're about to surprise him with the hunt of his life on the 5F Ranch in Sweetwater, Texas. What he doesn't know is it's actually a trophy whitetail hunt, and he's the next subject of veteran outdoors. So I'm sitting in my house in San Antonio, and I hear this knock at the door. I open this door, and there's this guy I've never there, seen before, Dan Robles? Yeah. and he's telling me that with veteran outdoors, who he is, is and, and how he's going to take me on take a you hunt. On a surprise hunting trip. All right. We're headed down to a race just south of Sweetwater. Okay. We're ready to go right now. Okay. All you have to do is pack your bags, and we'll get moving. So I've just surprised Dan. We're packing our bags. We're about to head out. I'm really excited about going. We're going up uh, uh, south of Sweetwater, Texas, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We're on our way to the ranch, but we have to go through Georgetown. So I tell Dan, I've got to stop and get my paycheck real quick. What he doesn't know is we're actually taking the plane that's parked right outside. I'll tell you what would be nice is to be able to take one of these today. Oh, yeah. Just jump in, sheesh. Get there a lot quicker. Yeah. About a half hour or so? Yeah, probably, probably close to an hour at the most. Let's see if this guy would load up our stuff, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get out and film like we're getting done? <laughs> we start joking about how, yeah, that would be nice, you know, and then and then he looks over to me and, and he smiles and he says, we are. Get out of here. Yeah. Really? Absolutely, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. We're, we're not going to drive. We're not going to make you ride in this car for that long. Okay. Wow. We're going we're to jump in here. We've got a private plane there and we should be there in no time at all. They're going to be waiting for us at the airport. Gan Aviation has donated both a plane and a pilot to fly us out there. Hello, are you Dan Robles? I sure am. How are you? Hi, I'm Brian. I'll be your pilot today, flying you to your hunt. <laughs> Good to meet you. Appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. Y'all ready to roll? Let's do it. They surprised me with the, uh, a flight out to the ranch as opposed to driving. And, uh, you know, my, my best friend used to be, oh, what's his name? And now it's uh, Cody and the people over at the Veterans Outdoors. So we're really excited and, uh, I'm really excited and looking forward to this whole, the whole event and uh, I really appreciate everything uh, everybody's done for me so far. I'm very fortunate that Cody was able to go on this hunt with me and be able to go on future hunts with me. His connection with Gant Aviation allowed us to be able to surprise Dan even more so than I initially had planned on. tells me he's never been in a plane this small before. I look up front and he's actually flying the plane. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of driving it like a car and it's not working, but uh, you know, it, it, was, it was a good time. I really enjoyed it. So when we take off from Gain Aviation, Dan's wearing shorts. We land in Sweetwater, we look out the window, and Wes is dressed like he's in Alaska. It's freezing outside. We weren't dressed for this at all.
appreciate it. You're welcome. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I get off this plane, I meet this guy for the first time, my name uh, Wes Higgins. Dan, Wes Higgins. Daniel Robles, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. And uh, he's with Veteran Outdoors, and uh, he's all excited, and uh, you know, we're all just so excited, you know, we don't, and I don't know what to expect. So we load up the trucks, Dan and I jump in with Lane, the ranch owner, and we head to the ranch. We just picked Dan up at the airport and now we're on the way to the 5F. Dan still thinks that this is a doe hunt. He has no clue that this is going to be a hunt of a lifetime for him. So on the way to the ranch, Lane really fills us in on what to expect. He tells us about what kind of hunt we're going on, what kind of deer. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. Look at this. It's a first class lodge, you know, and I had never been to a, a, a lodge like this. Dan's had a chance to meet everybody, and he's had his first surprise. He got to fly out here into the drive, and now it's time for surprise number two. We're outside looking at the view. Cody and, uh, and Wes come up to me. Dan, we knew you might need some hunting gear to, <laughs> to, right. to come out here with, so we got you some game guard camo here. Here's your shirt and a pair of pants. All right. 511 tactical pants. There you go. And, uh, and doing a shirt. <laughs> they gave me uh, a silver stag knife. This is a uh, this is a custom handmade knife from uh, from Silver Stag. Uh, it's a domestic steel. Uh, oh, wow. All of it's made here in the United States. All right, right. You ought to be good to go to get you a deer today. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh, Not thank you. Problem. Not a problem. Thank That's you. Awesome. He doesn't expect any of this. This is going to be a real trip for him. Here I brought some city clothes, not knowing what to expect, and these guys hand me all this uh, this nice gear, and um, it's just amazing. I don't I don't know what to think. Before we really start this hunt, we're going to go hit the range and make sure Dan's still on zero. We go out to the range and uh, put a few rounds down in the target just to make sure that uh, everything's on, everything's hitting where it's supposed to hit. My expectations are high for this day, and I'm uh, really prepared to, to go out and get, get a good deer. Dan lost his legs in Iraq, below the knee, thank goodness. Still gives him some good mobility, but him going up this blind, I mean, that's just unreal. It's probably a 10-foot ladder, and uh, he's made it up without any of our assistance. It's, it's pretty neat to watch that. We're going to see what comes in here this evening. We're, we're kind of running out of time, so we're going to get to it. Lane and I are set up about 30 yards behind the blind. We're there to actually look for the right buck for Dan to shoot. When this happens, Lane's going to tell me, Cody, this is the buck for Dan, and I'm going to actually text message Wes, and he's going to let Dan know. Uh, this late in the year in, in Texas, you typically can't deer hunt, but ranches like the 5F have these MLD permits set up to where they can manage their deer herds. What that allows us to do is we receive so many permits for, per year. A hunter shows up with his deer license and we do not use his tags. We use the permits that are provided by Texas Parks and Wildlife. It was really great of the 5F to invite us down here to, to help them manage their doe population. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We've been in the stand for a while now. There's a hunter doe out here and Dan thinks he's on a doe hunt. See that buck, Dan? Yeah. He's still wanting a piece. Yeah, he's keeping chasing that dough. That's exactly why she come running in. Yeah, it is. So we're not more than 30 minutes in the blind, and these deer start showing up. We're sitting there, and I'm waiting for, uh, for Wes to give me a thumbs up and, and to go ahead to shoot. We get this one good-looking doe out in the middle of this field, not more than uh, maybe 30 yards from the blind. And 